All right, welcome to our disco response team drill. Because religious hate speech is spiritual violence and we want to stop the violence. That's what we want to do. So uh, I'm going to read the survival guide. I'm going to give everyone a survival guide. Here, would you pass out those survival um, guides for everybody? Okay, I'll give them here. There you go. Here, Sister Uma will do that. Okay. Have you noticed? I'm going to have to use my teacher voice again. It's just amazing. You're back in the salt mines. I'm back in the kitty salt mines. Okay, I'm just going to read this off. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Have you noticed an increase? In aggressive street preachers in our neighborhood? Yes, we have. Have you noticed them wearing body cameras? So you can see CCOP has these body cameras. Well, some of these people are wearing body cameras. Have you noticed them filming your, their interactions with you with your smartphones? I've seen that. I think we've seen that down there, right? Well, these incidents are increasing and will likely to continue to increase. And they have, haven't they? They came out last week, right? Just last week. That's right, okay. As the election draws closer. So listening to this group's brand of spirituality can be very upsetting, especially in this neighborhood. And if you've had a negative experience with organized religion, it can be very hurtful. So we have to remember that Religious hate speech is spiritual violence, and we want people to stop the violence. So, uh, Chief Carey, who's helping us here, uh, the Castro community on patrol, has provided some extra information uh, about the motives of these groups. A lot of them are funded by lawsuits. So they're not coming out here to save your soul. They don't care about your soul. They want you to touch them. All right? They want you to touch them. Do not touch them. Do not touch them. All right. So don't physically touch them, not even in a friendly way, because we have heard some suggestion that, you know, we'd like to show them some love and give and hug them. Don't do that. All right? They want you to touch them. And the most effective way to interact with them is by not talking with them. You're not going to convince them of anything. They are on a mission, and it's not from Jesus. They may think that, but they're indoctrinated. So you can say anything you want. It's not going to make a difference. Silence is your best response. Although religious hate speech is really a bad thing, it's very hurtful. It's not right. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. So it is, however, illegal as I was reminded tonight, that if they bring out a bullhorn or amplify, you can call 911 because that is illegal, okay? So, if you wish to protest their presence, you can do one of a couple things, but don't touch them and don't talk to them. We have, oh, trust me, this is gonna be good. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna give everybody one of these cards. And, and some of them come in soft paper, which is actually better. And we're gonna read, I'm gonna read this to you. We're gonna read it to our Evangeligal right here uh, when we get down there. It says, dear church member, welcome to our neighborhood. This is a place where over the decades, people have come in order to feel safe being who they are. Many of our neighbors have come here after having suffered trauma from the leadership and laity in their church homes or in the conservative practices, religious practices of their family of origin. While it is your legal right to express your religious beliefs, it is re-traumatizing many of our community members. Religious hate speech is spiritual violence. Violence is not the path of a follower of Jesus. Violence is only used by those who seek power over others. Jesus brought a new covenant, one of compassion and love. 
Jesus corrected religious institutions because of their legalism and lack of love. Be like Jesus. Break bread with us. Dance with us. Laugh with us. But be like Jesus. That's what this says. This comes on a very long sheet. And should you decide to make your presence known, you're welcome to hand this sheet to these people to let them know what you're doing because you're not going to speak to them. All right? This, I highly recommend, do not speak to them. And you hand this to them like this. Don't get too close. I'm not going to hug you. There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. Right? No paper cuts. That could find you in court. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I hope that's everybody's reaction, Evangelical. Okay, so I'm going to pass these out. You know what? You're welcome. Hi. You're welcome to print these. Uh, you can contact me and I will send you stuff. Um, huh? Okay, yeah. Okay, you. I know you look like you need these. The same thing that you just turned up. This is something else. This is something else. Uh, something else. Cool. Yeah, that's yours. That goes with that. Okay, are you ready? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down. You've got your signs. You can do uh, one of two things. Evangelical. I love that. I love that. Evangelical will stand in front of Hibernia Beach and be doing things. There you go, I like it, okay. Now remember, this is just a test. You got your test That's signs? Okay, okay, got your test signs. Show your signs. So nobody will get nervous. It's a sister, nobody's gonna get nervous about right. this. It's going to be totally expected, okay? You don't want to get close to them. So, hi. So let's just pretend, so you stand right there. This is the plan. This is only a drill. If it doesn't work, we'll do something. Hello! Oh, dear, okay. So, I want to be just like this. Can I borrow your side? Yeah, here, just, I have extras. Okay. So I'm going to stand here like this and just be silent. But if you must do something more than that, you're going to dance. But you're not gonna get near her, touch her. So, Miss Chief over here has got the music. We're gonna cue the music. And you're gonna, you're gonna know exactly where to snap your fans. And just enjoy yourself. It'll be really irritating to them. Okay? Are you ready? Shall we do it? Okay. Before we continue, are there any questions? No questions? Is there some dancing that could be considered sexual harassment? <laughs> You're gonna try not to do any of that stuff, okay? Because you don't, you, you don't want to give them what they want. I mean, this is what they want. They want a confrontation. That's what they want. So you don't want to give that to them, all right? So just do it. If you've got, if you've got, if you see them and you get, oh, I like it, yeah. If you hear that they're down here and you decide to grab your sign and your material and run down there, um, you know, you can make yourself your own disco response team, right? Bring your music. You can put your earphones in. They don't have to hear the music or you can just play it, you know? Nobody's going to call the police on you if you're gone in five minutes. But then the next response team will come. It'll be very irritating to them. But they'll know what you're doing, and you'll have given them the information about why you're doing it. And we just need to let people feel empowered instead of just helpless and angry. That's what they want. They want angry. They're not here about your souls. So let's give this a try and see how it goes, right. shall we?